Will he hit it on the first one? That's the question. I'd say six. Wow. That was awesome. That was my good drum. I think it destroyed the drum. Nice shot. Was that four? Was that the four shot? Three. Three shots. Oh, the drone was up there. Well, yeah, wandering buffaloes. They got to have fancy old drones. What you think of that? Nice shot. I predicted six, you got in three. Uh -huh. Caribou out there. Up? What's that? Did you get close up? Or? Well, I don't have my zoom with me. I should go get it. Well, today is day 11 of our gold mining adventure, and it'll be our last day of dredging. Here's the latecomers to the party today. Our stuff's already in the boat. We're ready to go. You guys are late as always. The biffles are always the uh, last to get out here. My wife went up to check to see where you were at. Today's the last day of mining. Uh, how much gold are you expecting to get today? About. 1.72 ounces. That'd be a good day. That'd be a great day. Tomorrow, uh, doing a little hiking, a little fishing. See the wildlife. Maybe see some wildlife. There's one right there. Eat the wildlife. Eat them? Eat them. Nice. Just waiting on Vicky and then our pilot, owner of the property, Matt Fontes. We came into this trip expecting a, not really expecting, but hoping for a couple ounces of gold. And I think we're going to double that. We will see. We got yesterday's gold cleanup yet. And of course, we're going to get gold today, and that'll be it. Then we'll do a final cleanup, see what it looks like. the water come up a couple inches today. You may ask why we use a hovercraft up here. It's because the water's so shallow and it can just skim right above the rocks. They go about, I don't know, 25 to 28 miles an hour maybe with a full load of heavy concentrated materials and four to six people. Got our lunch packed. Ready for your last day? Yeah. Let's go get us some gold! Well, it's day 11, and we got out a little late today after I shot a few pictures and video of the hovercraft. We all boarded it, went about a quarter mile down the river, and a rag got sucked into the propeller shaft. And one of the propellers got broke, so we had to do a little fix right out on the river. And we finally got out here. We've been working now about an hour. Just showing kind of what we've been doing here. Uh, we have the Super 6 dredge furthest downstream. That's the camp owner's dredge that he works from, one of them. They're also working on a 10-inch dredge down further. We got the hole where the biffles have been working of wandering buffalo fame. And they've been doing pretty good in this spot. This is a spot where Jim Hamilton and Don have been 
working and they abandoned that to go out deep. So they're out a little deeper over here. Then there's our spot. We've moved the dredge inside so we don't have to shovel today. We're basically filling our hole. And Vicky's hitting it hard over here. We're on that half and a, maybe a half an ounce or more a day gold over here. I just dug out a pocket that looks really promising. We'll see how that goes. This gold in here looks like it's possibly from the tundra pushing down under the bank coming out. Then the river erodes over and uh, exposes virgin soil that's never been dredged. And even the old timers never hit some of these areas on these banks. As you can see, the rocks are stacking up pretty good behind the dredge and filling the hole in. The six inch dredge can move a lot of material. Hopefully Vicky won't chuck one back here and hit me in the head. Vicky just announced we're going to be having lunch here soon, so we'll probably be doing a cleanup also. We'll have to see what kind of gold we're pulling out of this corner. Probably have to move the dredge forward too because we're running out of hose, so stay tuned. final cleanup along the river anyway before we do the massive cleanup and the final weigh-in. I just did a test pan over there where we were working and I found probably about 200 colors. Some of them were pretty good size. It's kind of hard to leave when you're finding that much gold. So we're going to take a quick look. You can see gold in here right now. Just right on top. Hopefully it's thick. We don't try to show the full cleanup because that takes us hours. We're running through a gold cube and a keen cleanup sluice and then a lot of other things. Spinner off. A spinner off to get the all the black sand out of it. This flower goal is really tough to recover. Man, there's a lot of black sand in here. Look at that. See it all right in there? Mm-hmm. Wow, this moss is very heavy. Got Shad from Wandering Buffaloes watching me. He's trying to learn how to pan right now. He's relatively new to the game. Don't you remember when we were new at the game, Vicky? So old, my memory is gone. Hey, Shad, if you want to get closer, you can see how we pan in Illinois. He said he'd like to, but he's busy over there. Starting to see the gold coming in already here. We've got a lot of black sand yet. 
hard to get a focus on that. Yeah, there's a lot of gold washing out, but I'm just, like I said, doing a quick pan to show what it looks like. I should be able to swirl that around get an idea of what's going on here. Hopefully with that sun, you can see all the gold coming down. That's just from the miner's moss. The black mat should be a little better. Just cleaned up the black rib matting, uh, taking it down about halfway. We're gonna see what it looks like. Maybe you can get in closer. Some bigger pieces sliding on down. A lot of flower gold. Bigger piece there. There's some nicer flakes. Get it down, just hold it still so then I can focus real good. Okay. Let me get it down a little more. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the fines have left the pan already, but just to show the quantity that's coming through this thing, it's ridiculous how much there is. Not ridiculous, good, I guess. Okay, just stop now and I'm going to zoom in, okay? I left a little in the pan anyway. Looks like there's a pretty nice flake in there. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. and that's all the way through, and all the way through the three stage. Hopefully, we at least have a half ounce today. We will see. Well, it's our last day in camp, and we've got four buckets of material we have to clean up. Vicky's running them through the gold cube right now. Our hope is to find one ounce out of these four buckets, so that'd be our day 10, day 11 uh, cleanup. See what the uh, first layer of that gold cube looks like when we get it all cleaned up. How much you hoping for, Vic? One ounce plus? All right, let's do it. About got that mega cleanup done, Vic. Oh yeah. How's Marvin doing over here? Oh, we're getting it. Looks like you got a little bit in there. Yeah. We'll take a look and see what you got. That looks good. Yeah, that's that's the no good guy. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens. Yeah. I mean, it's not a crazy amount, but no. honestly, what I compare the gold to is the tailing piles that it came out of. Because yeah. Yeah. Everybody's day of dredging is different. Mm -hmm. So the key is just to move a lot of material and you'll get the gold. Yep, quantity, not quality. I'm going to shut this machine down see what's in it.
Oh yeah. Load it up. Oh dude. That's more than one ounce. That's two days. Mm-hmm. That should be I don't over guess, but I'd say between one and a quarter and one and a half. Usually if you're down to here it's about two. Really? It just depends on how much is in the boil box still. So. Alright. That spot yeah. does tend to have some really fine gold over there. We will see what it is. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Thank you. You got that, right? Yeah. So how much work is there running a gold cam, Matt? A lot. It's just not all fun and games like TV? Uh, most of the time, but... It's all fun and games until the people come. There you go. In a turkey. It's a good work. Nothing's as rewarding as seeing people get gold. So your aim is for everybody to find a lot of gold? As much as their bodies can handle. <laughs> what are you running for? Oh, I can catch you, don't worry. Some people are camera shy. Nobody does <laughs> Ow! Somebody just bit me. <laughs> Cameraman down. <laughs> so what months are you open for business up here? June through August. June through August. Yeah, yeah. The gold rush is still on at Gold Fever Prospecting. Pretty good. Hard to stay in focus when it's down on that. Two days worth, not too bad. Keeps mounting. The correct word, mounting. Mounding. <laughs> Pile of gold mounting and mounting. I think we're heading for an ounce for two days on this one. We'll see. Ready to be back in civilization? Oh, yeah. Ready for your hot shower at home and your restroom right by your bedroom? And ready for my tub. Ready for a hot tub, huh? <laughs> Bet your cats are ready for us to be home. Getting close to having this cleaned up. We can have a good look at how much gold there is. Tonight's turkey dinner here at Gold Fever Prospecting. Ginger cooks up a mean turkey, I hear. You ready for some turkey, Vicki? Yeah. 
All right, let's get some. This is the beautiful kitchen at Gold Fever Prospecting on the 40 mile. Ginger's our excellent chef. She doesn't like to be photographed, I guess. Here are the lovely kids. Tonight we're having turkey and pies. Home cooked okay, meals every night, well, all included. Well, you can't eat the pearl and all the gold you find. Treasure. What was our official weight of gold, Vicky? Four point two something ounces. We're not counting the point twos. Some people, I don't know if they even got four, but that's okay. There's a smile again. <laughs> what do we got over here? We got nummies. Oh, big pile of turkey, mixed veggies, mashed potatoes. Is that noodles? Yeah. Rice. Rice. Rice and a huge salad. Oh, man. Homemade gravy. Yeah. You have to come up here and try it. Chicken Alaska. Just got done with two weeks of hardcore dredging. <laughs>